That's a sure sign, they say, that spring is on the way. It's art time! With Mr. Mayberry. Let's get busy! Welcome to Art Time with Mr. Mayberry. When we see robins appear in early spring, we know that warmer weather is on the way. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a robin. So let's get started. It's time to make some art. I have my paper turned the landscape way and I'm just using a regular pencil to draw. I'm going to start right here in the center with like a chicken egg shape and it's going to be pointing down towards the bottom right. So a little bit wider and about the same size as a chicken egg, like a large egg. I'm going to kind of sketch that in. Now remember to start off lightly because there will be things we'll erase along the way and you may change your mind on a few things as well. So it's good to start off light and then we can make things darker as we go. Okay, so this is going to be the body of the robin and then I'm going to make the head about the size, a little bit bigger than a quarter. And then over, notice how it overlaps the egg shape here. Okay, then I'm going to draw a wing shape. And it looks a little bit just like a pointed leaf. Round on one end, or it could be like a long egg shape. And then I want to make the other wing or the start of the other wing on the other side here. So we're using overlapping. So we just see a little bit of it sticking out here to the side. Okay, let's go up here and we'll add a bird beak, which is going to be a triangle, a long triangle. slant in on this edge and go around and attach to what we've already got. Now I want to attach this head to the body and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come straight down from start on the this edge of the circle and straight down and then attach. It's going to kind of curve out a little so I'll go down and then curve it out just a little, like that. And this is pretty much where I want it to be, so I'm going to go up here and darken the top edge of this circle. And when I get to right about here, not quite to the outside here, I'm going to go more straight down. So I'm kind of cutting off part of the back here of this circle straight down and then it kind of curves out a little as it gets to that wing. So we're changing the contour of the outside edge just a little there. Okay, I'm going to take a second and clean up areas of this drawing. I'm going to erase inside of the beak. Erase on this outside of the head here. Erase where the circle and the egg shape overlap. And let's go ahead and erase inside this wing as well. Okay, let's go back up here to the the head again. I'm going to make a pupil, just a circle right here, and then I'm going to leave a little bit of the right side empty there and shade in the rest so that it has a highlight. 
So I'm leaving kind of an oval shape on that right top edge. And that adds life to the drawing. Okay, let's make a line for where the beak splits, the top and the bottom. It's closer to the bottom. the head connects to the body there we're gonna make kind of a zigzag line and there's a change in color here of the feathers okay I'm gonna put let's put a circle around the eye This is where there's actually a change in color of the feathers here. It's lighter, it's white around the eye. There's also some white areas underneath the beak. So I'm going to leave a part of that white. And the rest of it, for now, I'm going to shade in. darken the outline here for the Robin's body. So let's darken the outside edge around the wings. Shade those in just a little bit lighter than what I did the head. Also, I want to put a couple kind of feather shapes here. They can be random, they don't have to be evenly spaced or anything like that just a kind of pointy feather shapes. Okay, and then the tail is going to stick out at an angle. Just a longer kind of a triangle shape. And I'll shade that in darker like the head. Okay, I'm going to make legs next. First the one on the opposite side of the body, and we just see it sticking out from down below. And it's just going to be kind of a, a stick, just straight line. And on this side we'll make it overlap the edge of the body because we can see it, it goes up higher. Same kind of line. And our robin is sitting in a nest. So I'm going to make an oval for the opening of the nest. It's kind of a long oval, maybe a little bit wider than this. A 
want to be able to see the eggs inside, so I'm going to make it a little bit wider that way, taller. Now inside the nest I want to put three eggs. You can put more if you'd like, but I want to I want you to make at least three. We'll see one, most of this one, it's a little bit of overlapping at the bottom. And then I'm going to make one here that covers up the top edge of the nest a little and then is behind this egg. So it's kind of sideways. And then I want to make one off to this side. And the other two are overlapping this one as well. Now again, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. You can have them at a little different at a different angle if you want to do that, but try to put three eggs there that overlap and then the legs go back behind that. You don't see and then the back of the edge of the nest might be you might see part of that. I'm going to shade around these eggs and inside of the nest here. Okay, let's make the rest of the nest. Now on the top, the lines will be closer together. When you get down at the bottom, they'll be further apart. This just adds to the 3D quality. And just like we, we know when things are farther away, they look smaller. And when they're closer to us, they look bigger. So it, it works the same way. We're gonna make the back edge of the nest looks a little smaller and the front edge. So it's just a larger oval shape. It's kind of shifted down from where the other one is. Okay, now that I have the nest like that, I'm going to lightly erase. I want to still be able to see it, but I don't want it to overpower what I'm about to do next. To give the nest some texture, we're going to do some hatching, start with some hatching. And hatching is just when you put lines going the same direction that are close to each other. So I'm making these all slant from the top left to the bottom right, all the way across the nest. And they go just past the edge maybe a little bit, not a lot. and kind of random too. You don't want to make them all the, exactly the same length. Then let's do what's called cross hatching. We're going to go across them the other direction. So I'll slant from the top right to the bottom left. And in the back too. Now that almost looks too perfectly straight, so I'm going to add some random lines in here going in different ways. some darker lines around the edge, just zigzaggy, random lines for the contour. And same on the inside. Thank you. 
some shading around the eggs here. Okay, the thing about the robin is the coloration. That's what we notice and think of at first to both the bird and the eggs. So I think we probably should add some color. That's our project for today. A robin. If you'd like to show me the robin that you've drawn, check out the contact information in the description below. And if you like drawing spring things, why not check out Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry, Springtime Edition. Thanks for coming to the art room today, and I'll see you next time. See you later. Hi, bye. You know? <laughs>